Convention in New York City, and I had it outlined what we would do to noise them around. And boy, when those kids got where they could walk in a restaurant and eat, they were just so happy, and their eyes just blossomed. Oh, it was wonderful. But then when we got ready to come back, we came back to the South. And when we came back through the South, the kids could meet. We had to go in Safeway stores and get some bologna and crackers and whatever. You. And then to Arkansas, even worse, and Oklahoma, even worse. And when we got back at that time, I had become the advisor of the NACP. Anyway, when we returned from New York City, they wanted to, they met at my house and they began to look over the things that had been done. The group met at my house on a hot August day. And on that day, my daughter Merlin said, I tell you what, let's go down to Cat's Drug Store and take us a seat because people really don't see us. And that was one problem that we had. You see, I believe that white Oklahoma had never seen us. They had never thought about us. You go down there, you're white, you go downtown, you want to eat, you sit down and eat, and then you scoop. You never think about those people that don't have those privileges. And I say, do y'all really want to do it? He said, yeah. He said, okay. You have my approval. That was all in 19, 1958. And we went to Cat's Drug Store. Very versatile drug store. You could buy shoes and you could get your prescriptions filled. You could buy anything. And then they had a little counter there, but you couldn't eat. And what kind of sense does this make? So I felt when I walked in Cat's Drug Store that I had as much right in that store as any other person. I didn't realize that white people who had used to wait on us and be so happy to take our money would stand over us and curse us and call us niggas and what have you. I didn't realize that people would laugh at us and tell us how black we were, how ugly we were, and what a disgrace we were in this city. I didn't believe that. And I was in a state of shock to see old white women and women who had gotten their rights through picketing, through walking, and who had just gotten the right to vote at the beginning of the 20th century. I couldn't believe these women couldn't understand. So as they cursed me, I was just looking at them. And I told our kids, we're going to practice nonviolence because this is what we have been taught. We're, go we're going to practice something that's as old as time itself and as fresh as today's newspaper. 